try and do a feather. This is just a practice. I'm doing it on a piece of cardboard that I've covered in some white paint. <clears throat> Before I covered it in paint, there was gesso on it. So I gessoed this cardboard and it's, it's a cereal box. It's a good thickness. So I just want to practice on this. So just to make sure I can do it, do it okay. Never done one of these before, so I'm gonna try it. It's a I think I have to pull it that way. <clears throat> the thing is, how much do I do it? Well, I don't like that. My cup was in the way to move it over a little bit. <clears throat> I'll try the other side. Okay, that's not bad. I think I need to perfect this. So I think the thickness is fine. I just didn't, of course this is small. I should have done a smaller one. Maybe I'll do a smaller one. <clears throat> right beside it. string. Guess you don't have to take off a lot of the paint. Try to go pointy at the end if I can. And did I do that the right way? All right, so now I have to put it on the other side. Cardboard is warping. Well, that's better. Oh, okay. I think I'm getting it. And then you take some, you can just do some little flecky. flex coming out, a little feather. Now I think this is called the, oh I had the name of it, I forget what it's called again. 
a quill. That's what it's called. So I'm going to take some white paint on the end of my palette knife. Pretty. This wasn't going to be a video I was going to post, but I think I might. I'm going to do another one here. I can, it's not even totally in the frame here. This way. Now hold it up. So I'm going to do one on a canvas. All right. Stay tuned. Hello. Well, I'm back again. So I decided to do a, I'm going to do a feather pull, string pull. I did a practice one and now I'm going to do the real thing. I'll show you the, the little video of my practice one too. I'll put that in front of this video. But we'll see how this one turns out. So I'm gonna, I got some house paint. It's a bit of an off white color. So I'm gonna see how this goes. Spread it around. I don't think I need it too thick. Let's see how this See if this flows. Oh, I haven't put you down. Silly me, I must be getting tired. All right, here we go. Now you can see what I'm doing. You didn't miss much. So I just poured some paint on here and I've been spreading it with my spreader.
is a bit of an off-white color. I think it'll look nice. I bought some house paint at, I think it was at Sherwin-Williams. And it was in their mist tint section. It's a good place to get some, some paint. Sometimes you get lucky and get colors you like. Not always. All right. <clears throat> See if I can get this to flow a little bit down. I'll just gently over this. This will probably take a while to dry because it's on a board. Something I picked up at the Goodwill. I just primed over top of it the picture. It was an Ann Geddes picture. So Okay, I think I'm okay with this now. I just wish it would flow a little more. Yeah, it's starting to go now. I want it to flow over the edges. Here we go. Perfect. All right, <clears throat> put this aside, wipe my fingers off. So I've mixed up some, uh, I have this Americana paint that I found. I didn't, I've never used this one before. It's a satin finish. It's this multi-surface satin. It's called Coastal Waters. So I mixed it one to one with um, Floetrol. So now I'm going to stick my string in here and I measured the string to about the length of that I think I need it. <clears throat> so I'll hold one end and you can see that. I'll leave one end uncovered so I can hold pick it up. And I'm not going to rub this along the side like you do with a st the regular string pole. I'm going to try and do a, a large one. Dampen the string a little bit just so that it helps it lay better. Okay, see if I can do this now. Now you just take it and you just drag it this way. I don't want that white to go over. string.
let it sit here for a minute. <clears throat> Should take a minute to thank everybody. I have re I have almost got to eight thousand subscribers. I want to thank everybody for subscribing to my channel and watching my videos. I really appreciate it. I absolutely love doing these. So I will keep it up as long as I can. So run this down the other side. All right. And then you just take it. Oh, I need more paint right here. Just a little bit more here. And you just pull. get that weight off too much there there so now I can probably I can probably get my spatula and take some of this weight off What I want to do, I need to get some more down here a little bit. Let's see if I can. the end of this in again and just take this see if I can get the rest of this weight off it's a little funny I wanted it more pointy on the end but oh well palette knife with some white paint on it and go up
Let's make some little feathery things up the side. There's some more ispies up here. I like it when I take the, the white into the blue, it looks much better. There. Just need a little more. It's not bad. Not bad at all. Get some more of this blue. This is a big feather from a big bird. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. I think I like it. I, think I gotta fix this one though. It's a little too. play around with this all right I'm gonna stop I'm gonna stop right now and show you there's no cells came out on this but want to give you a close-up. I think it came out not bad. I think it looks actually pretty. I love it. It's 
Sometimes you just got to stand back and take a look from the distance and things things will look better. All right, that's it. So I will probably put two feather videos together on one and I should show you well I'll sh you'll see the other one when I post the first video there's a purple one that I did and this one all right well have a great day and thanks for watching please subscribe to my channel good day